matters in terms of ideas. Immediately that started, as it is natural with them, we started looking for ways to censor our ideas. First, all the TV stations in the country were called upon not to interview us. I can report that every day you watch the major TV stations that don't want to mention their names, it's not necessary. You found that they called the two major political parties every hour. I counted the number of interviews I had, including on NCA. They were not up to seven throughout the election. But we had something that they didn't have. We were always ahead of them. So we use technology. I also recall that we went to 34 states of the Federation out of 36 or 37, including the federal capital territory. The only state we couldn't get to was Bruno and Yobe and part of the Boeing. We went everywhere else. And I recall that when we were going, at the point, our friends, colleagues, and co-campaigners, our staff members, were worried about our skills, and we applied to the Nigerian police for police protection. They did not give it to us. But regardless, we went around this country. I also recall that as we were campaigning across the country, using our campaign slogan, the Nigerians remember what it's called? Sites as a nation. We also 
this day newspapers owner, uh, Unduka, yes, Unduka Biabena, was also in attendance. And the GSS uh, director of operation was in attendance. He said, he told him to sell. Then we'll keep you there until the end of our tenure. And as soon as I returned to the cell, the GSS guys were shielded. They said, how do you
for those who badly mismanaged and are mismanaging Nigeria today. But what is important is that regardless of their incompetence, regardless of their criminality and corruption, regardless of their bigotry and their poverty mentality, they are not thinking about the rest of us. As we are speaking, they are planning election for 2022. And INEC, that is the uh, Independent National Electoral Commission, is also a political party that's an adjunct of PDP, where it's uh, where it voters is where, but mostly for the APC. The APC is now known as the Al Qaeda People's Party because of Pantan. Right? And the PDP, as you always know, is the former development party. That's their real name. Guys, we are not opposed to having elections. But we are opposed to having this election. And that's what you guys are planning. Our party, this political party, as you remember, in our last net meeting at our office in Lubu, decided on the area of revolution now. That was where it was of the party. And we have delivered on that particular agenda to revolutionize the mind of young people, old people, women and men in this country. Forget about the lies they tell you that Northerners are not interested in freedom. I don't know how somebody in Zafara wants to wake up and die in their farm. They are interested in freedom. I don't know how somebody who is in BJ, I mean sorry, Niger State, where almost three local governments have been located to Mina. The governor of Niger State West is saying that, look, they are talking about Boko Haram and Sambisa Forest. They say they are a little bit away from Abuja. That's what the governor of uh, Niger State, am I lying? Oh. A lot of people in this country have become refugees in their own country. Don't call them internally displaced persons. Because if you are internally displaced, that means you are somewhere you can stay. You are just displaced. You are moved from one place to the other. But when you are a refugee, you need international support to survive. And a lot of Nigerians who are in those camps or have those camps actually do need international support to survive because they are refugees. Let's just recognize them as that. But what would I advise? And I know that people who are on this table who are in this room are not the type of people who are organized. We are the ones who organize. And in organizing, we must recognize the historical role that has been placed on our shoulders. We cannot afford to abandon them. We can't afford to disappoint our people, both at home and abroad. We can't afford to deceive people that if we wake up one day and we break up Nigeria, the problems will simply disappear. As I love to say, and as we want to be honest with ourselves, if we break up Nigeria, the problems will not go to break away the bodies and they will continue hunting you down wherever you go. There's no question about that. Nigeria not an ideal place. And as a result, I don't want us to demonize people who say they want out of Nigeria. Because Nigeria has become like a bad marriage for a lot of ethnic nationalities, but most importantly for every of the citizens. And when people say they want out, in most cases, they don't actually want to leave. They are just saying they want justice. But justice cannot come to our people kind of people who are running Nigeria today. They are not running a justice system. They are running a just us system. Our security agents, as you know them, are mentally and somewhat the other who stood in their way by this criminally minded leaders. And I'll say here, because I'll be wrapping up, if I will never, they are ready to 
capacity and character, which is lacking between the current political system. But before we do that, we still have a lot of fights on our hands. We must fight to propose the current unjust, unfair, wicked, and inhuman system of government in Nigeria at every level. Don't deceive yourself. Yeah, 